They thought they would succeed with the lies accompanied with tears. They lied and cried while they were lying, thinking they were going to have it their way. But God says no. No way. Thank God for God. Some people are so manipulative and dishonest. I mean, they manipulate, they lie, and they cry. And if you, do, if you do not have the spirit of discernment and God's divine wisdom, you are going to fall for their lies. I mean, human beings are so deceptive. When the Lord gave me this prophetic word, he reminded me of the story of the two women in the Bible. The Bible even calls them two harlots. They gave birth at the same time, and they slept with their children individually. But one slept on their child and their child died while, while they were asleep. And she woke up early enough to notice her child had died and she just swapped the children. She switched the children, gave the other woman the dead child and took the child that was alive. When they both woke up in the morning, the, the other woman saw herself with a dead child and but she knew that was not her child she was convinced it was not her child because she knew her child but the other prostitute was claiming it was her child as well i can imagine they got into a heated argument and they got into a heated fight and they decided to go to the king to the king solomon to plead their case and when they got to the king can you imagine they were both saying this is my child this is my child I can imagine they were both throwing tantrums and they were both crying, trying to gain ownership of the child. But we thank God for the wisdom upon the life of King Solomon. And he just thought to himself, Let's, let me play a game and see who falls for it. And he says, okay, since you both are claiming to have this child, because if that were not the case, if one of them was just all strong, he would have looked at the one that was crying to say, um, um, I mean, this one is the mother of the child. Probably they were both crying and they were all devastated and he could not decipher just by looking at them from the face value. And so he said, let me do a test. Whosoever passed is going to have the child. And he said to them, I'm going to divide this child into two. Since you both cannot um, own up or since one person cannot confess that it is not your child, I will divide the child into two and give you so that you both go um, your way with separate separate parts and the mother of the child cried and said please it's okay you can give her the child I'd rather go without the child and I guess the woman the other woman who stole the child was like it's okay if they kill the child I, I, I have nothing to lose I already lost my child she too loses her child and we are both childless it is by the wisdom in the life of Solomon that saved this woman a child because they both cried as though it was their child. They both wanted that child badly and they did everything they could to have it. Even the woman who was lying, she could afford to pretend as though that was her child. I pray that God will deliver you from every manipulative person. People who lie and cry while they are lying just to manipulate you. God will deliver you from their grip in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not fall prey to their manipulations. You will see beyond those tears they are shedding in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.